All right, YouTube, man, look, I came across a very interesting video. I feel like it's interesting to me, and I feel like it might be entertaining to y'all, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, I came across a crazy, crazy video, uh, but before we get to the video, I just want to say Happy New Year's, y'all. Happy New Year's, man. We in a brand new year, 2023. I'm going to go crazy this year. We hitting 100K this year. It's a lot of great blessings that's going to be happening this year for me and for you. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I'm just ready to see what all the blessings uh, that's going to happen this year. You know what I'm saying? All glory to God. But anyways, man, hit the like button, subscribe. Y'all know what to do. Without further ado, let's get into this crazy, crazy video. Uh, if, if, if you weren't such a fool, I would answer you. But the Bible says don't answer a fool according to your folly. So I'm not going to answer you. Oh, so now I'm a fool. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Also, and you're talks, smart. The Bible also talks about false idols, and you're kind of like skewing the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. what, what's a false idol? Well, I mean, just like false ideas of the Lord. Tell me what a false idol is. I mean, I'm not, I'm not religious. Well, then, then be but, quiet. But then be quiet. I that, that's just, that, you're a fool too. The Bible, the Bible says, don't, don't talk to a fool and don't answer a fool according to your folly. If I say, hey, what is a false? The Bible says, uh, don't worship false idol. What is a false idol? I don't know. Oh, the Bible says in the last days there are going to be people like you. There's going to be scoffers. There's going to be boasters. They're going to love themselves more than they love God. They're going to be proud. They're going to be blasphemers. And you're kind of making my point. Um, this is this is a, a product of the last days. The Bible says, let me see. The Bible says, honor your mother and your father. Is she honoring her mother and father by pointing to her vagina? This is what the world taught her. This is what the world. You don't have a penis. You're you're a woman. Uh, you are a woman. You don't got a penis. Uh, let me let me teach you something about anatomy. Men have men have penises. Women's have vaginas. And when you hey, even if you cut off your penis or cut off your vagina, when you stand before God, you will stand before God as a man. Even if you identify as a woman. Oh, let me go. I hey, get that. Look, and now, here we go. Now you see you. And you need to you need to repent, lady. Yeah, this woman is crazy. This, this woman is crazy. First of all, I don't know if y'all just seen it, but the man didn't even push her. Maybe I'm tripping. Let's actually, I actually want to go back. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe I'm tweaking. You know what I'm saying? But I did not see this man push her at all. Your penis or cut off your vagina. When you stand before God, you will stand before God as a man. Even if you identify as a woman. Oh, let me go. I get that. Look, I <laughs> this woman is crazy. This woman is crazy. This, this, see, look, I love the Lord. I, I love Jesus. You feel me? I love him. But this is why I don't think that I was called to actually be a street preacher. I don't think I can actually preach on the street. I probably could. But again, the patience that you have to have with these people is, bro, you have to have some strong patience. You know what I'm saying? I have patience, but let somebody put their hands on me. I'm sorry. We got to throw the hand. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is the woman. I'm not going to put my hands on a woman, but best believe, <laughs> like, it's going to be something. Hey, look, man, it's going to be something. The dude that you was with, whoever, bro, I don't care. I don't care if the boyfriend or not, man, who got the scrap of something, bro. Because, bro, you're not just going to put your hands on me and think it's all, and think you can just get away with that. You feel me? Think you can just get away with that. Like, what? You really have to have some strong patience with being a street preacher. This man trying to preach the word of God and this woman, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, she has a demon in her. She has a demon in her. I'm telling you, she needs to seriously repent from her sins. Seriously. And now, here we go. Now, you, see, you, push me, push you, bitch. And you need to, you need to repent, lady. You need to repent and get right with God. You need to repent and get right with God. That wasn't nice. That wasn't nice. Did you push me first? You need to repent and get right with God. I pushed you harder, brother. Again, you're touching my breast. Don't touch me. Wait, so you have a breast and a penis? No, you don't. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're not a tranny. You're, you're a confused human being. You're a woman. And maybe no one ever told you. I, God says you're a woman. He said man and female. Man and female. He created them. He didn't create two spirits. He, you don't have one. You don't have a penis. You do not have a penis. You're delusional. The Bible says in the last days, uh, God will send people strong delusions. Transgenders are under strong delusions. If you are a woman and you think that you can have a penis, that's a strong delusion. Let me ask, let me ask you a question. Let me ask a question. <laughs> woman is not only crazy but i can't i gotta give it to her the woman is funny all right she's literally screaming like a child acting like a child screaming that she has a penis bro we don't care if you have a penis of a giant we don't care we don't care what you have down there that's your business you are so like you're you're so uh it's a word now what's the word i'm looking for you're like so i can't even think of the word but it's the word i'm looking for hopefully some of y'all get the you know what i'm saying but Bro, nobody cares what you have down there. You're like, 
Oh my gosh. Micro penis. You you were bored. That's a clit. That's not a that's not a micro penis. That's a, that's a that's a clitoris. That's a clitoris. You were born with boobs and a vagina. You were born with boobs. Yes, you're right. Hey, that's right. You, so, you have a vagina. You have a clitoris and you have a penis. You are, you know that's not true. You're, so you're saying you're, you're hermaphrodite. Yes. I don't believe you. I, I, you just because you just lied and said you're transgender. Transgender and hermaphrodites are two different things. I want to be a man. You want to be a man? Well, that's so easy with a dick. You want to be a man? I thought you said you had one. You see what I'm saying? You're all over the place. Look, look. What you need to do is get right with God. What you need to do is get right with God. You need to get right with God. You know, God says He'll give you a new mind. Listen, listen, lady. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. God, ma'am, God, God can give you a new heart. Now, what, what you're going through is called this confusion. The Bible says that God is not the author of confusion. God loves you. I want you to understand God loves you. Listen, God loves you. God loves you. But you have to repent. God loves you, but you have to repent. Yeah, you, for, of your transgenderism. No, you don't. You don't. Is, is this honorable? Yelling at me and spitting on me while you talk? Like, I just thought of the word I was thinking of, y'all. Passionate. You're so passionate. 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 Passion. Passion. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the word I was looking for. I just, I thought of it, but God dang, this woman is crazy, bro. I mean, <laughs> seriously. She's either drunk or she's actually like this sober. If she's like this sober, you need to go to a mental hospital because ain't no way a human being should act like this when they're sober. Like, I, I would expect you to act like this when you just like off the, like, you you know what I'm saying? You off the douce, you off all the type of drinks. But, bro, no, you it, if you not off those things, if you're not off the crack, if you're not off any type of drugs, whatever, bro, you need to go to a mental hospital because, dog, this is not normal. This, right, what you're doing right now, this ain't normal. This is not normal. I ain't never heard somebody so passionate about just saying they have a penis. I have a penis! I have a, like, bro, how are you so passionate? Like, <laughs> bro, this is, oh my gosh. Like, I, I asked for the sports, not the weather. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, did I assault you? Put me on the mic. Come on, you put me on the mic. I'm grabbing now. Put you on the mic. Let go. Let go. Go ahead. I see. You know God loves you, first of all. Facts. Facts. You know He died for your sins, and He's the only way to heaven. All this confusion that you have going on in your mind, God can set you free. That's what I want you to know. Confusion, you idiot. You think that you're a man? That's confusion. You're confused because you don't know basic biology. There are hermaphrodites that are born. Do you have a period? No, I do not. You don't have a period? Yeah, you guys need to repent and get right with God. And, and look, when you, are you a man or a woman? I'm a woman. You're, no, you were born a man. No! You were born a man. You got a beard and everything. Look, check this out. Check this out. When you stand before God, he's going to call you a sir. You can't, you can't stand before God with gender identity. If you were born with a penis, God is going to judge you as a man. If you were born with a vagina, God's going to judge you as a woman. Uh, that's what's going to happen. Your boy was I just thought uh, you're just making stuff up. Okay, if you're born if, if you're born with both, then what you have you, your your chromosomes will rather be X or Y dominant, and yours yours are, yours are woman dominant. You have boobs. You have boobs. Where'd you get boobs from? Do men have boobs? Do men have boobs? Listen, huh? You have no knowledge about the gender. Can, can a man feed a child with his boobs? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, oh my gosh. I mean, bro, transgenders are seriously delusional. Dog, no, I'm going to settle this right now. If you, if you was born with a penis, guess what you are? A man. If you was born with a vajay, Jay, guess what you are? A woman. Okay? It's no in-between. It's no, oh, I was born with both. I was born with a penis and a vagina. I am a woman. I'm this. I'm that. I'm a man. Too. Like, bro, we, you're, so, you're confused. Like he said, bro, you're confused. You have a mind of confusion. And I know that the Bible in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, I believe that it is 1 Corinthians chapter 14. It says that God is not the author of confusion. So, literally, he's not going to be a, God is not a confused, a, uh, he's not the author of confusion. So, he's not going to create you to be both a man and a woman. No, he's going to create you to be either a man or a woman. When he created Adam and Eve, what did he do? It was a man, okay, and a woman. It was no, oh, Adam was the, he's the man and woman, and then Eve is just the man. And it, no, it was not none of that. He made it so simple for us. And it's like, it's like people nowadays, they make something so easy 
Okay, it's so easy, and they just transform it into something that that doesn't have to be that doesn't have to be so hard. You feel me? You are a man if you was born with, you know what I'm saying, a penis. You're a woman if you was born with a vajayjay. All right, <laughs> and no man cannot feed babies with their boobs, and, and no milk come out of these. No matter how fat, no matter what you are, no milk can come out of a man boobs. Okay, and no milk can. No milk can. At all. I don't know what I don't know what logic, what school y'all went to. But bro, y'all need Jesus. Y'all need help. Okay, seriously, y'all need help. Bruh. So, so milk can come out of a man's boobs? Yeah, because it's not just about your fucking biology, asshole. What, tell me what it's about. It is about who you are. It's about you as a person. It's about it's about you on the inside. It is not just about what your parts are. You fucking ignorant. Who, who told you that? Why do you believe that? Because I've read a lot of books. Let me ask you a question. If, if if you feel that, you that you're in the wrong body, how can you have peace? Where's, the Bible says, listen, 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 just, just, just hear me out. Jesus Christ said he's the Prince of Peace, right? He, he, wait, he says he, well, I care about what he says. Jesus Christ said he's the, just, well, if you let me talk, you can talk next. Jesus Christ said he's the Prince of Peace. Now, if what you're, if what you're saying is true, how come you don't have peace? And, and that's what I'm, that's what I'm asking you. You don't have peace, you know? Pardon me? Pardon me? Why do you say that? So you, she has peace? This is peace? She has more peace than you do. Okay. And, and that's why she has more peace, bro. She's been yelling since freaking 13 seconds in the video. I'm trying to figure out what peace does this woman has in her heart. Okay, seriously. You be bro, you people don't know what you're talking about at all. It's like when y'all wrong, y'all don't want to admit y'all wrong. So y'all just try to justify the fact that y'all wrong. Like y'all try to justify the fact that obviously in your head, you're thinking you're right. But obviously to, to normal people out here. That, that knows the truth, you know, we, we know that you guys are wrong, but you guys still try to justify that. I just don't understand. I seriously don't understand. You just said that this woman has peace. She has more peace than this man. First of all, this woman has been yelling, screaming, pushing, fighting. She's been doing all that since the beginning of the video. She just pushed another man. The man didn't even push the woman. She pushed him, and, and literally, it, it, I guess you call that peace. You call that peace. How was that peace? How was that be? Then the man, she touching on the man's shoulders, and she said, "Look, you're touching my boobs." And she just said, "Her, her, her clit is a freaking." Oh Lord, who? Jeez, boy, this is I couldn't, I could not be, I could not be no street preacher. I'm sorry. This is, unless God called me to seriously do this, but I, I know I have not been called to do this because this is ridiculous. Oh, you guys are confused because that doesn't make any sense. Let me. I'm, ask, I'm asking a serious question. The Bible says he gives us peace. The Bible says Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. The Bible says that Jesus Christ. The Bible says Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. I love you. God bless you. I love you. I love you. You know why I have peace? Because God is the Prince of Peace and He lives inside of me. I want. I want you to have peace too. But but you got, you got, it's all good. It's all don't worry about it. But look, it's all good. It's all good. It's okay. I don't, I don't really care about COVID or none of that stuff. But look, the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. He gives us peace. If if someone believes that there's someone that inside there's something else, they don't have peace. There's a there's friction going on. The Bible says that when we accept Christ, He gives us peace. He gives us peace. Why do I have to get the fuck off my sidewalk? You, you don't. But look. God, God died for your sins. I don't know who you are. God loves you and he died for your sins too. And that's peace? And y'all call that peace? You just get the woman so good. Man, oh, man, oh, bro. Oh, I'm sorry, dog. This, this woman is crazy. This woman is crazy. This is right the this is probably the craziest trans. I don't know what to call her. I don't know what to call him, her, she, ha, he. Dog, cat, peer, I don't know what to, it's just crazy how in today's society you can, you can identify as whatever you want to identify as and they will literally call you that. Okay, you can say, you know what, I'm going to wake up and I decide to be a cat today. Yep, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to find some surgeries out there that I can, you know, get some whiskers and yeah, start eating cat food and all things like that. Like you could just identify as anything you truly want to be, and then the the world would say, "Well, I mean, if they identify as that, then that's what they are." Like, no, that's not how it works, fam. That's seriously not how it works. This this 
it, she, I don't know what she, I don't know, because she said she was born with two things. I, I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this, this, this uh, person is crazy. She's seriously crazy. And all you got to do is believe in him. Um, I know people get hurt because the truth hurts sometimes, but it's okay. Even though the truth hurts sometimes, it needs to be said. The Bible says that if we don't preach the truth, then we're just as bad as those in the world. Uh, Paul went to Paul went to the Jews many, many times, and then at the last time they rejected him, he said that your blood is off my hands. Um, what people really want, and that's why I was trying to explain to this person and that person, what people really want in life is peace. The Bible says that in this world, um, we're going to have a lot of uh, turmoil, but God has overcome the world. And we have peace through Christ Jesus. That's why Jesus Christ is called the Prince of Peace. If I felt like a, um, inside, if I felt like a, a woman, or if I felt like a monkey or a tiger, but on the outside I look like this, that means internally I have no peace. And peace shouldn't be found in things, external things. Peace should be found, found on the inside. What's up? God bless you, bro. Peace should be found on the inside. You only can find peace on the inside. What's up, brother? God bless you. Peace is on the inside. That's why the Bible says... Yeah, one second. That's why the Bible says that when you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you get the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is that deposit um, on the... That's, Holy Spirit is the deposit that God gives us and the Bible says that the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, patience, temperance, and all these things. And that's why I was asking her, do you have peace? Bro, first of all, shout out to, the, shout out to this guy for doing what he's doing. Uh, Ministry of the Word, that's the YouTube channel. Now, I, me, like I said, I, 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 bro, the patience that you have to have to honestly be built for this street preaching stuff is ridiculous because you got people out there that act like her that act so childish that don't know how to have a have a legitimate conversation like an adult you feel me you got people out there that just don't like to have uh like-minded conversations like even if you i feel like even if you disagree with me you know we can have that disagreement we can have that debate but it ain't got turned to know you you trying to push push somebody uh that i know or you trying to just be violent and that bro that's not that's not how it should go you feel me and like a lot of people truly 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 need to repent from their sins you know what i'm saying I Look, I, I I try I try to preach the word as best as I possibly can because I got a whole audience filled with atheists, Christians, Muslims, all type of people. I don't look at religion. I don't. I don't look at the religion because I believe if you have a true relationship with Jesus Christ, you have a true relationship with God, you are saved, and you know what I'm saying you will make it into the kingdom of heaven. That's what I truly believe. You know what I'm saying because we are saved by grace through faith. That's my belief if somebody do ask me like oh what religion do you stand you know obviously by me believing in jesus christ and by me believing in god and i believe that you know we are saved through grace by faith i mean i believe that we are saved through grace by grace through faith then obviously i'm gonna say yeah i'm a christian obviously it's obvious you feel me but i just don't look at the religion you feel because i feel like religion is not going to get you into heaven and hell you know what i'm saying because it's just you just have to believe god just want a, a genuine relationship with all of us he, he's not looking at religion you know what i'm saying oh you christian because some christians not gonna make it to heaven bro believe it or not the people that claim to be christian they're not some people some christians are not going to make it to the kingdom of uh, heaven so that's why i feel like you're not gonna you're not gonna go to heaven and hell based off your religion it's based off the relationship that you have with jesus christ and god you know what i'm saying if you accept that jesus christ as your lord and savior you are saved you know you are saved but a lot of people, they will they will put more time and effort into everything that don't matter on this earth instead of putting their time and effort into believing in the Son of God, believing that he died on the cross for our sins, believing that he rose again from the dead, believing all these uh, great things that happened. Instead of believing in that and putting their time and effort into that, they'll put their time and effort into trying a new food, trying, uh, trying a new business, trying all these different things, but not put God first. I'm just saying, bro. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. That woman, she's crazy. She need help. She need Jesus. She need everything. She need it all, bro. She need it all, man. Um, anyways, man, I love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe. Happy New Year. Without further ado, it's me, your buddy Pan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.